Hi, my name is Vikram Ravi. I would like to tell you about some research that uses observations with the CSIRO Parkes Radio Telescope to challenge our understanding of how galaxies and black holes formed and evolved. Every galaxy contains a black hole at its centre. Some black holes weigh up to 10 billion times the mass of our Sun. When galaxies collide, their black holes sink to the centre of the remaining collection of stars and begin to orbit each other. A key prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity is that pairs of black holes cause travelling ripples in the structure of space itself, known as gravitational waves. My colleagues and I are searching for gravitational waves using the cores of collapsed stars, pulsars. Pulsars emit beams of radio waves that sweep by the Earth, appearing as regular ticks. We've used the CSIRO Parkes Radio Telescope to monitor 20 pulsars in our galaxy over many years. Gravitational waves passing through our galaxy will cause the times between pulsar ticks to slowly change. The ticks from the pulsars are measured to sub-microsecond accuracy and have encoded within them the effects of any black hole pairs. Current theories suggest that we should already be able to detect gravitational waves from black hole pairs throughout the universe. However, these theories are not consistent with our pulsar measurements. This could mean that the biggest galaxies and black holes did not grow just by consuming other black holes and galaxies, but that they also fed extensively on surrounding gas reserves. While Einstein himself thought that gravitational waves might never be detected, pulsars can already be used to answer important questions about the formation and evolution of black holes and galaxies. This research was published in the journal Science by the Parkes Pulsar Timing Array Collaboration.